This video was filmed in early March before social distancing was a thing. At the time of this video, we are not traveling and are following the current government guidelines for self-isolating at our home in Western New York. So today we're packing and getting ready for our next trip. And we got up and I want to show you this outside. So, it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow, but if you look behind me, Airstream's all hooked up, ready to go, and it's covered with snow. This week we are sharing with you the last Airstream rally we attended before the country shut down for COVID-19 pandemic. Our story begins the second week of March as we plan to return to Florida for a trip throughout the state expected the last seven weeks. During our travels we always look to see if there are any Airstream rallies that we could attend. We feel that attending a local rally is a great way to meet people and to learn more about the area we're traveling. One of the planned stops during this trip is to attend an Airstream rally hosted by the Florida Airstream Club at Swanee River Rendezvous Resort and Campground in Northern Florida. We arrived at the campground on Thursday afternoon for a four day stay. Our hosts Susan and David had planned a weekend agenda with time available during the day for individual and group activities like hiking, biking, and kayaking. After a day of activities, we would gather as a group for happy hour and dinner. We should point out that this was very early in the coronavirus pandemic. At this time, the only precautions suggested by the government was to avoid shaking hands and, and to wash or use hand sanitizer. Social distancing was more than a week away and there were no stay-at-home orders. Everyone at the rally was following the current guidelines in effect and were being very careful. It has been seven weeks since the rally and none of the attendees have been stricken with COVID-19. So this is where you launch the kayak. It's also where they launch tubes, or no, actually it's the recovery area for the tubes. So you can rent tubes and float down the river. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. On Friday, we decided to join the group and go kayaking at the Wichitanucky Springs State Park. So we're paddling upstream. We're going to run into I think some other people from the rally and then we'll turn around and uh, ride downstream with them. We're doing the short version of the river paddle today. There were a bunch of people that got up real early this morning and did the ride um, both ways and then they're meeting the folks who are doing the one-way ride at the other end and we decided to do a halfway ride.
Oh, great. We heard that there was some. Yeah, kind of what? Just a problem with the tandem, right? <laughs> place you're not supposed to go. I mean, we don't know where that is. So. There's one right there. The Ichikanuki Spring State Park is a 2,669 acre wildlife haven where beavers, otters, turtles, and manatee live. The main draw to the park is the eight major crystalline springs that join together to create the six mile Ichikanuki River. We're going to go down there and take a ride. That's yeah, all we that's know. All we know. decided to take a bike ride with the group to the Hale Adams Bridge, which was about a 12 mile round trip. Our ride would take us down a bike path along County Road 354 to Highway 51. The Hale Adams carries Highway 51 and crosses the historic Swanee River 
just outside the town of Mayo, Florida. Is he a millennial? <laughs> is it a bike? I thought it was is a millennial. Is he a millennial? Tattoos on him or something? So we're going to get the tequila out and have a stitches removal party. All right. <laughs> I know. A festival. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be big. You know, the more tequila, the steadier my hands are. <laughs> <laughs> no, we meant for her. Oh. <laughs> we're going to, her stitches, he's going to take her stitches out. So come to the, come to the removal party. Okay. <laughs> We really enjoyed the ride as it gave us time to talk to the other rally attendees as we rolled along the bike path. A suggested sell price, no it just says don't dry. Don't you, <laughs> yeah, hang, hang dry. Um, oh, it does say it's animated though. Does anybody know how this is animated? Oh, wait a minute, there's a button where? So Saturday night after dinner, the club held an auction to benefit the Fisher House Foundation. The Fisher House Foundation is a charity and foundation that builds comfort homes where military and veteran families can stay free of charge while a loved one is in the hospital. Rally attendees donated items to the auction and Steve entertained us with his auctioneer skills. The Florida Airstream Club was able to make a sizable donation to the foundation and everybody was able to take home a bargain. So, all right, so $4 going once, $4 going twice. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Man, I'm sorry. Six dollars, six dollars, Richard George got six dollars. Here we go, seven dollars going once. Seven dollars, anybody want that? Seven dollars, seven dollars over here. I need eight dollars, eight dollars. Who's gonna take it away for eight dollars? Anybody, eight dollars. I got seven dollars going once, seven dollars going twice, and that's so. On Sunday, we decided we wanted to do something with our dogs, Monty and Zephyr. So we decided to take them on a hike to the West Skiles Peacock Springs State Park. Peacock Springs is known for featuring the, one of the longest underwater cave systems in the United States. Certified cave drivers from all over the world explore the more than 33,000 feet of surveyed underwater passages at Peacock Springs. The park also offers a hiking trail that takes you by the springs and the sinkholes. We decided to take the hiking trail and not do the diving. I think this is one of the springs here that uh, would normally be open for swimming, but it's not currently. Sure is quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> well, that's good because you can hear the you'll be able to hear the alligator sneak up on you. Oh, I see. <laughs> Monty, check out the sign. Make sure you're prepared. Don't tease the alligators.
appreciate me walking in front of you. I'm wiping out all the cobwebs. So, you know. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah. We're just here for your comfort. Try to keep her on the trail as much as you can because it could be poison ivy. Oh yeah, it's true. This is a sinkhole. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, usually when you see a sinkhole on the news, there's usually somebody's house is involved in it. Yeah. Enjoy your hike? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Good day for it. I mean, it's a little warm, but gosh, if we were doing anything that wasn't in the shade, it would be worse. I know. Yeah, I mean, it's 80, 80 degrees out today, so yeah. hot day, hot day for the dogs. We're getting back in the truck where they got some cool water to drink and there'll be a little cool more air. cool air. But yeah. they did very well. Yeah. Yeah, they did good. Yeah, they didn't see any squirrels I don't think. You no, know, we didn't see any wildlife. I was surprised. We thought maybe she saw a, deer. a hole in the ground so maybe there was something in there. Right, right. Well this was a pretty easy hike. Yeah. Yep. It's woodsy. So it's not an open, it's not, you know, it's a woodsy trail so it's not a real open type of path. So keep that in mind if you come here. Right. Yep. All right, let's head back to the truck. Okay, come, come on. on guys. Going back to the truck. We had a great time at the rally. Yep, so we went to a Airstream rally at Swanee River Rendezvous, and there was what, 20? I would say 20 Airstreams there or more? Oh, probably at least 20. Yeah, it was hosted by the uh, Florida Airstream Club. It was uh, a lot of fun and an enjoyable weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course, being in the same unit, uh, the, all the other people knew one another, so, uh, and they welcomed us into their group and included us in all their activities. If you get into a camping club of some type, you meet the most, the nicest people and you have the best time. And it doesn't matter if they're Airstream owners or you know Grand Design or Winnebago's or whatever, there's a club out there um, for everybody. And you really should consider if you're into RVing, joining some type of club. Right, right. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yep. Like Randy said, you meet a lot of nice people. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give us a thumbs up. And what should they do? Subscribe to our channel if you want to follow along. That's right. And make sure to hit the bell because we post new videos every Wednesday. And we like to uh, make sure you know when they're there. And I guess that's about it. So we will see you down the road. Make sure to say hi if you see us. Right. See you down the road, guys. Bye. Say bye, Monty. What are you saying goodbye to Monty? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs>